I I offer three bitcoins for anybody that can come up with one proof of the globe. Just one should be easy. We live on a globe. Should be easy. Now you've been taught your entire life that the earth is a globe from uh, before you can even talk. Your parents probably put a mobile over your crib with planets on it. You had NASA pajamas, Sesame street had astronauts on it, uh, globes in your kindergarten class. And every movie is talking about space now. So uh, it's hard to understand what flat earth is. And uh, I'm sure that your concept of it is incorrect. <clears throat> um, so we're looking for, for globe proofs should be easy. Anybody? Okay. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's open it up here. At least get us started. Speak loud. Oh, like gravity, like the concept of gravity, like it comes from like the earth's like core and like us, like, so how would that, how does gravity work? If the earth Okay, well, for starters, gravity has never been isolated, manipulated, or verified the scientific experiment. And there's like four different versions of gravity because none, none of them work according to the heliocentric paradigm. Now, what gravity is, I guess, is basically buoyancy density and electrostatics. So if I let go of a helium balloon, it's not an anti-gravity device. It's just less dense than the air. So it's seeking equilibrium up. If I get a rock and drop that, it's going to go down seek equilibrium down because it's more dense than the medium. If I drop the, the rock in water, it's going to go through the water. It's more dense than the water. But if I get an apple, throw that in the water, it's going to float on the water because now the medium of the water is more dense than the apple, right? So we have an electrostatic gradient constantly discharging to the earth down because the atmosphere is positively charged and the ground is negatively charged provably. So that creates a current always going down. And the force of density and buoyancy supersedes that to determine directionality. You can look up, Luke, uh, it's called Archimedes Principle or the Law of Displacement. So here's a, this is a drone made by MIT where they're literally just changing the electrostatic potential of this and it flies. It's got no moving parts. So we're changing the electrostatic field and it lifts and propels itself. The XRT-3B triangular military aircraft they admit that it uses electrostatics to fly, right? Why don't we have cars that do that? We should, because there's no moving parts. It's just an electrostatic difference. The earth has a negative charge. The sky has a positive charge. Anything above the earth has surrounded by that positive charge and its buoyancy and density will dictate which, which way it goes up or down. So mm -hmm. that's that. Next mm -hmm. question.